This isn't a low bar. And by the way, pour one out for the debate moderators this cycle, because it's sometimes they've had just straight up election deniers, kind of crazy statements mm -hmm. made. You have Carrie Lake, a known election denier. I get not wanting to elevate election deniers. I think um, election denial is a different thing. Russia interfered with our election, attacked our democracy for the sole purpose of artificially placing someone at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They were successful. Drone Tech Media. <laughs> Someone is going to have to explain to me the black hole of self-awareness that exists on the spew. They supposedly have a Republican co-host. Her name is Alyssa Griffin, and she has nothing but slobbering praise for the Democrats' choice for minority leader, Hakeem Jeffries. Hakeem Jeffries was a very wise call for Democrats. When I worked in the House, he was known, he has credibility with the progressive flank, but he was known as somebody who the other side could work with. So I think just in general, moving to next generation leadership is smart. <laughs> <laughs> For a Republican, she sure has a lot of good things to say about this Democrat who also happens to be a prolific election denier. In 2016, he claimed the election was illegitimate and that the president was fake, saying, the more we learn about the 2016 election, the more illegitimate it becomes. America deserves to know whether we have a fake president in the Oval Office. He didn't just tweet this. He also went on a conspiracy theory riddled rant during Congress where he claimed that Russia changed the election results in favor of Trump. Seems to me that there's a cloud of illegitimate legitimacy that continues to hang over 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and that patriotic Americans have a responsibility to try to figure out what the heck happened in terms of the malignant tumor that seemed to have been embedded in that 2016 campaign. What did the president know? Regular order. When did he know it? Regular order. And how do we prevent this type order. of regular malignant regular activity is... from happening. He went on to baselessly claim that multiple congressional seats were stolen by rogue Republican operatives. The North Carolina congressional seat, the only one stolen by rogue Republican operatives. We may need a comprehensive criminal investigation to figure that out. There was no investigation. It just goes on and on and on and on. But yesterday, New York Representative Hakeem Jeffries was elected as the first black party leader. Hakeem Jeffries was a very wise call for Democrats. He's the right person, he's yeah. the smartest person, he is on par with Nancy Pelosi. No question. So the Republican on the show loves Hakeem Jeffries, along with everyone else on the show, despite his long list of dangerous election denial. On this channel, we've established pretty thoroughly that The View hates election denial, unless it's Democrats. But still, what comes next nearly gave me a series of unstoppable cascading embolisms because it comes just after their praise for Jeffries. Iron Donald, the Florida member, would have um, challenged Elise Stefanik for conference chair because we really don't have minority representation in our leadership. Isn't and I she think that's an election valuable. denier, Stefanik? Yes, she, she is. is. I, she's a Trumper. Please. Stefanik used to be one of my favorite members. She was a moderate, thoughtful, like she's m millennial and she went a completely different direction. The but body snatchers have gotten her. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's unfortunate. Can somebody please explain to me how a normal functioning human goes from praise and adulation for a guy known for election denial and election conspiracy theories to bashing a woman on the basis of election denial? If you're wondering, this CIA PSYOP was sponsored by Humana and Macy's. Don't spend your money on companies that hate you. That's it for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.